Designers should start a video with a hook to capture the attention of learners and entice them to continue on to the main content. Was the beginning of the previous video memorable for an 8th grader? After the hook, designers should lay out the roadmap for the video so learners know exactly what to expect. Was it clear where the previous video was going, or were you completely lost? Once the roadmap for the video has been laid out, designers should use an inquiry generating question to invite learners to focus on solving an important aspect of the content. In the previous video, was the learner's attention focused using inquiry? Instead of force feeding information, designers should enable construction of knowledge while anchoring them in prior knowledge. Learners should be given space to concentrate and reflect. Narration does not have to be constant. Did the previous video feel like just an information dump, or was there time to think? To help learners understand the concepts in your video, it helps to show the concepts from another angle or amplified with another example. The repetition also compensates for inattention which can be a problem in many instructional videos. Did the previous video use different examples and or repetition to aid in understanding? To wrap up the video, a summarization of the main points helps learners to assimilate the concepts into their memory in the hopes that they will apply them in the future. Did the previous video have any type of summary at the end, or did it end in a random way? The concepts you have learned can apply to many types of primary video. We encourage you to try using these principles and sharing it with those who are interested in creating video from the mobile screen to the silver screen.